Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I, I just got done filming a video where I showed a demo of the Avon Wash Off Waterproof Mascara. So if you're interested in that, look for that. That should be uploaded uh, pretty much the same day as this one. And um, now I'm going to show you guys the stuff I bought in my last Avon order and then also the products that I received as gifts from the President's Club Gala that we had in Avon. Um, Avon President's Club Gala is for top sellers who have... Um, Actually, President's Club is the lowest tier of the um, top selling like levels, but uh, President's Club is if you sell $10,000 a year or more. Um, Honor Society is $20,000 a year or more. Rose Circle, I believe, is $38,000 a year or more. And then they go up from there. I can't remember the exact ones. McConnell Club and uh, President's Council. I'm definitely not in that category. I used to be a strong Honor Society member. Um, now I have gone down to President's Club and I hope to get back up to Honor Society um, at some point. Uh, but right now I'm at President's Club and I am very happy with that. So um, I will show you guys what I have on my face right now that's Avon. Um, I have on the new Ideal Nude Cream Concealer in Fair. I have on the True Color Ideal Nude Liquid Foundation in Shell. <laughs> I want to make sure I get that right. It's a long one. And then I have on the Loose Powder in Neutral. I have on the True Color Matte Eyeshadow Quad in Tenderness. And I'll show you what that looks like. I was saying in my last video, I think this is where I got it wet. Maybe my brush might have been damp or something. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But those are the only four shades that I have on my eyes right now. And then uh, I also have on this, I put away my black and green <laughs> for the True Color Glimmer Stick Diamond in Teal Sparkle. And I showed a swatch of that in the last video, but I'll darken it up and do another one. For you guys so that's the teal sparkle it's very pretty I just thought it kind of uh, be cute with the orange and orange of the lip and the eye um, so the blush that I have on is warm flush which you've seen me show uh, a few times I'm sure especially in the summer it's kind of like a deep warm coral with lots and lots of golden shimmer in it it's absolutely stunning. I love this blush for summer. It, it's a cross to me. It's a little bit, it's very similar to the Balm's Hot Mama and NARS Orgasm, but it's a little bit deeper in tone and I just love it. You do not need a highlighter with this. It is very glowy. It is very um, summery and golden and I absolutely love this. And then uh, I do have on that mascara that is the Avon Wash Off Waterproof. Um, I did that, like I said, that demo of it because I hadn't used this mascara in years and I accidentally ordered one, uh, too many for a customer and so I kept it and I decided to just try it uh, on camera and let you guys see it in action because I know I hadn't really talked about it before. And this is the result that I got from that demo. So I have a lot of customers that buy this. I, I mentioned in the other video that it's very popular. Um, I would sell this out constantly at my Avon booth. I would order a hundred of them um, during our peak season to last me through two weeks and I would sell them all. People would buy four or five at a time. Um, they just loved this mascara because they say that if they have sensitive eyes, it doesn't bother them and it doesn't um, make their eyes water or burn or anything like that. And then um, I'll tell you what I have on my lips, which leads me into what I purchased with my last order. Uh, I purchased with Camping 13, I purchased a couple things for myself. And one of the things I got was this Mark um, Pout Velvet Lip Paint. And it looks like that. So Mark has eight lip paints coming out. They have four matte shades and four shiny shades and I'll be honest with you I'm the matte lip girl I really like the matte lip and the reason why I like it is because I feel like it with a liquid lipstick that's matte I love that I can draw my lip line in I feel like I have a wonky lip line <laughs> down at the bottom where my pigment is off like the shape of my lip is there but my pigment is gone so it's like very flesh colored 
it's something little that most people probably don't think twice about, but it drives me crazy, you know. So I like these um, matte liquid lipsticks because I can draw in with that where I want my lip line to be and it stays. It doesn't travel. It's, you know, long lasting. I don't worry about it. So I have been wanting Avon to come out with some liquid lipsticks that are that are up to par. I love my liquid lipsticks. I love my ones from Stila. I have um, quite a few in the Sephora, the Sephora's own brand. I like, um, what else do I have? Stila. I have one from Tarte. <coughs> Excuse me. I just have, and then like I have quite a few from Sephora from their own brand. And I love them all. And I want Avon to have some also that I can use because number one, they'll be cheaper. And number two, I want something that I can really get behind. So these came in. I tried this the other day. Oh my gosh. So fantastic. I was super, super impressed with it. So this is the shade Spark. It's a red orange. As you can see, I'll swatch it for you. I just love it. I love the applicator. It does have a scent to it. Slightly fruity not offensive and you can't smell it once it's on the lips it dissipates the smell but it is kind of a fruity smell so just be warned of that the paddle is shaped like so and i i'll swatch this one for you So that is the shade Spark. I just love it. Um, I wore it the other day because I wanted to be able to tell you guys what I thought about it. And I wore it for three and a half hours before I had to take it off because I wanted to eat. I'm a really strange person. When I eat, I don't want any lipstick or lip products on. Uh, I just, I'm weird like that. I'm, I always wipe my lipstick off before I eat. And it's just a habit of mine. But, um... So for three and a half hours, I had it on and it never traveled once, um, you know, the whole time. It didn't go outside my lip line. It was matte. It was super, super comfortable. I have to tell you, I was like blown away by the comfort of it. Um, I would say it's definitely more comfortable than my Sephora liquid lipsticks and probably as equally as comfortable as the Stila ones. Stila are pretty much my favorite ones. The Tarte one, is, I only have one by Tarte, and it's nice. It's comfortable also. But this really surprised me how comfortable it is. I mean, you don't, even though it's matte, you're not aware of it drying, like, on your lips. You're not aware of it sitting there cracking or, you know, feeling uncomfortable where you're going to pick at it or anything like that. Very, very comfortable. Um, I wanted to get all the shades, but the, the new me said, no, don't spend that much money on them. You might not like them. You might, you know, and then you're just stuck with them and you'll end up giving them away. So just get one. Now that I have the one, I'm definitely going to get at least another one or two, um, I like the bright dark colors, you know, that's my thing. They have a nude, I don't know if I'll get that one or I might wait till the fall. But um, I really, really, really like this a lot. I wish they would have more colors and maybe they will. It's fantastic. Okay, the other thing I bought that I'm really, really excited about that's also coming out in campaign 15 is the eyeshadow primer is back. Yay! Did I sound like Oprah when she goes, you're going to get one and you're going to get one. So yes, super excited. The eyeshadow primer is back. It is available in two shades, light beige and dark beige. I love it. I love it. I was so disappointed as were so many other people when they got rid of the eyeshadow primer because we really, really loved it. It's a great product. It is my favorite eyeshadow primer and I have used Urban Decay and I have used NARS and I have used Lorac and I have used Max and all these things and I just, well, I don't know if I've used Max. I've used their paint pots before. But, you know, uh, uh, I'm currently using Too Faced, which is nice, but this one was so good. It's so creamy and, and I, I just love it. So I got the light beige, of course, and um, this is what it looks like. And I will give you guys a little, oh, it's so nice. It's so soft, so soft. So here's, uh, let's see, we'll do it right here. My nails look terrible, I know. I just didn't feel like doing them. So that is the light beige. No scent, completely unscented. I'm just so geeked about this that they brought it back. I absolutely love this eyeshadow primer. It's delightful to have. So that will be available in campaign 16. 
oh, I don't want to rub this lipstick on my side of my face. <laughs> um, the same as the uh, MARC lipsticks. And then I got a piece of jewelry for myself because I wanted uh, to, I had mentioned it before a couple times and then I kept forgetting to order it. And it is the Proverbs 31 necklace. It has the verse on it. So it is technically called She is Clothed in Strength Necklace. And I, I really, really like it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up taking it off its chain, though, and I'm going to put it on. I actually have a necklace from 31 that has um, my husband's initial and my son's initial. And I think I'm going to put this in between them, in between those two um, little charms that have their initial on it. But um, it's just beautiful. I love it. But I'm not crazy about the chain, so... The chain's a little bit delicate for me. So let's see, what can I do to show you what it looks like? I'll put it in front of the box. <clears throat> and that way you can see it. Well, if it turns, let's try to, there we go. And make this still. So that is what the charm looks like. It's just lovely. I absolutely, or pendant, I should say. I absolutely love it. And then the back side of it has that on it. Kind of like filigree heart scrolling type design. The chain isn't bad. It's just <clears throat> not my, my thing. It's like a really light silver. And uh, I just, I think I'd like to put it on my... Um, on my 31 uh, necklace, it's long. It goes almost down to my belly button, and I really like the, that length, and um, this way I would need help getting it on and off every time I wanted to put it on, so I think I'm going to uh, put it on a different chain. But I love the pendant, absolutely love it. And that is called the Clothed in Strength. She is Clothed in Strength necklace. Okay, so then Avon had the President's Club Gala, which is a celebration of people that are top sellers, and they give out awards, and they make announcements, and we have a luncheon, and then they dance, and, you know, it's just a really nice time where we can network and, and um, recognize each other and get to see people and everything like that. Well, I didn't go this year. I actually wasn't able to go last year either, but my mother-in-law was having her... Um, hysterectomy that day and so um, obviously I was at the hospital with her and um, so I didn't get to go but what's really nice now is for the last two years and I hope they continue to do that if you're not able to go they will mail you your gifts and they didn't always used to do that if you couldn't attend then you were kind of out of luck you didn't get them unless your district manager got them for you so um, I received them in the mail the other day and they gave us this beautiful serving tray that's like silver and it has a, a, um, a white ceramic tray with a silver um, base that it goes on and it's huge. I can never show it on here, <laughs> but it's really, really, really big and it'll be really nice for barbecuing and stuff this summer because we can, um, we can use the tray by itself, the ceramic tray for putting on, you know, like hot dogs and hamburgers and chicken, all the stuff that we put on the grill when we're carrying it back into the house. But also, you know, with that silver base, it'll look really pretty. So that was really, really nice. And then um, the gifts that I received were a um, Senses Shower Gel in the Lemon Blossom and Basil. And I haven't opened that one yet, but I'm really excited to use it. And the... The Anu Platinum Firm and Sculpt Cream, and I'm definitely going to use that. I made the decision that I am definitely going to be using it because my decollete area needs some work. It's getting a little crepey in between my girls, and I don't want that. I want to have, you know, I want to be tidy up here. <laughs> Plus, you know, for the neckline and everything like that. So that'll be good. Um, the other thing I got, this is really exciting. So this is in um, one of their new perfumes that are coming out. They have three new perfumes that are coming out. Uh, be Fun, Be Daring, and Be Flirty, maybe? I can't remember the third one. But this is the Be Fun. Is not the packaging so cute? It is super, super, super cute with those dots. And um, it says that it is a playful blend of sparkling pear and pink freesia with glowing amber and I was really excited because this was the one I had already decided I was going to order for myself anyhow I think they come out in campaign 17 look how cute the bottle is and all the bottles are cute they're not all polka dotted some of the other ones are striped and chevron or something like that but look how cute that is so I smelled it and I wore it and it's nice 
but instantly I'm like, <clears throat> I know this perfume. I know this perfume. I know this perfume. So I ruminated on it for a little while. <laughs> I'm like, what is this perfume? Sorry if I'm doing this. I'm kind of getting glowy and I'm wiping. It reminds me of Calvin Klein Eternity, like, so much. It's a total dupe for that. So if you are a fan of the Eternity, this is going to be for you. I had Eternity, it, but that's exactly what it is to me. It's a total dupe for that. But all the bottles are really, really, really cute. So now, that, since I received this one for free, I'm excited to order the other ones, you know, and, and try those. So that was good. And then I also got um, a President's Club pin. It came in a little box like so. And it just has, it's really cute. And I use these. I put them on my denim jacket. I have a denim jacket. I also put them on my bags. Like I'll pin them on the handles of different bags I have. So that's the President's Club pin. So that's nice to have that. And then there's a pair of earrings. And I actually really like the earrings. So they're from the Signature Co Collection and they're Sparkle On CZ Studs in black. And they're really cute. I actually could have worn them today because they match my, my dress. I actually have a dress on today. It's a tank top. It's like a tank dress, but um, it's really comfortable. So these are just some black CZ stud earrings, but they're super cute, you know? Really, 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 really cute. I'm really pleased with them. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm really, really pleased with everything that I got, and I like it, and I feel very grateful and very blessed. But let me tell you about the last thing that I got, and this was for the second year in a row, and this is all because of you guys, all because of you, okay? I got number one in district, in uh, number one in our district for online sales, the second year in a row. So I'm really, really, really appreciative of that because it is all because of you guys. I mean, I could sit here and I could make these videos till the cows come home and it wouldn't do a thing. But because you people, you wonderful people, find something in me that endears you to me, endears me to you enough that you um, choose me as your rep. And that is fantastic and unbelievable and wonderful that we have made that connection. So um, this certificate of recognition should technically be for you guys, in my opinion. Now, Obviously, it says Ward Hatfield. If you've been shopping with me for a while, you know why this is. But I have new people to my channel, so I'm going to tell you why. Is because when I opened up my Avon booth, um, I used to have an Avon booth for five years in an indoor flea market that was open all year long. And it was a really nice booth, and it was very successful. And um, my husband already had a business license. And uh, we got married in October, and I opened up the booth in the Avon booth in February and he already had a business license and I didn't have one so what we did was we opened our business in his name since he already had the business license and I technically am an employee <laughs> and I have people that tell me all the time why don't you change that and I could it's just not a big deal to me because I feel like we're a team when I had the booth he was like priceless to me well, he still is, but I mean, as far as the Avon went, because I had boxes and boxes and boxes coming in every two weeks. I would have sometimes, especially, oh my gosh, during the holidays, 30, 40 boxes of Avon, big cartons, I mean, big cartons, you know, coming in, and he would put them all on a dolly and roll them in for me and help me unpack and help me set up and help me price things, and, you know, because of him, I was able to do all that and, and be successful at that. And it, we're a team. I feel like we're a team. You guys know I talk about him all the time. Just today, we were driving in the car. I had gone out to make some deliver, um, deliver some Avon books at some different businesses that I service. And we were on the way home. And he said, I'm so glad you're in my life. I mean, we are just a team. We are a team all the time. And so... I don't mind. It's not a big deal to me because when you see his name, you're seeing my name. And when you see my name, you're seeing his name. And that's how we are. Um, it's just not a big deal to me. So I leave it in his name because, you know, I just I just do. And he's got the business license and, and everything. So when you go on my Easter and you see where it says Ward Hatfield, it's me <laughs> and him. It's us. And we just both really appreciate all of our customers and how much... Um, it's just, it means a lot. It really, really does because you guys know that Avon has been around for a long time and you'll all know this, that you get people that stop or start selling Avon and then they're done with it within like three months or six months or a year and a half. It's hard to find somebody that is reliable about Avon 
uh, that is knowledgeable about Avon is that it's consistent about with Avon. And I'm not saying I'm all that because I don't think that. But I do take my Avon seriously. I take my business seriously. I try to be knowledgeable about the products. I try to be consistent and reliable. And, um, you know, I, I try to do those things because I know that people want that. It's not hard to sell Avon. Their customers are out there. They just want a reliable rep. And so that's what I try to do. And I know that there is um, a need for an online uh, presence with Avon as far as YouTube is concerned. It's a very un, un, under-mentioned brand. And um, I'm just trying to do what I can to fix that, <laughs> you know, and spread the word and everything. Especially now, all the new products are so good. The makeup and everything is getting so much better. And, um, I don't know, I'm just blah, blah, blah. But thank you guys. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, it means so much to me. And I'm not just blowing smoke up your butts. I mean it. <laughs> I really do. So um, thank you so much for joining me. That's what I got. I'll be I'll be placing my campaign 14 order um, next Monday. And I'll be picking up some things. But I think it's going to be stuff that I'm running out of. Like my vitamin C and my Skin Vincible and all that kind of stuff. But we'll see what happens. Um, but I will be doing a campaign 14 order, uh, or not order, I'm sorry, uh, campaign 14, 15 highlights video next week. So look for that. And um, thank you so much for taking um, time to make me a part of your day. And I will see you in the next one.